At least 48 people are confirmed dead following a major earthquake in Japan, a local official says. Since Monday, Japan experienced a total of 155 earthquakes, including a powerful 7.6 magnitude tremor and several others measuring over 6, according to the Japan Meteorological Office. Although the intensity of the seismic activity has gradually subsided, six significant tremors were still felt early on Tuesday, as reported by the JMA. Twelve people have been confirmed dead in the powerful earthquake that rocked Japan. The tsunami threat resulting from a powerful earthquake that struck central Japan on Monday has been deemed largely over, according to a statement from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center based in Hawaii. Earlier, areas had experienced waves exceeding one meter in height. The earthquake and subsequent tsunami affected central and western Japan, triggering evacuation advisories, power outages in numerous homes, and disruptions to flights and rail services in the impacted region. Initially registering a magnitude of 7.6, the quake produced approximately 1-meter waves along parts of the Sea of Japan coast, with expectations of larger waves, as reported by NHK, a public broadcaster. Tsunami alerts were issued by the Japan Meteorological Agency for the coastal prefectures of Ishikawa, Niigata, and Toyama. Russia also issued tsunami warnings for Vladivostok and Nakodka, its far eastern cities. Authorities are currently assessing the extent of the damage, and Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, in remarks aired on NHK, urged residents to stay vigilant for potential aftershocks. He emphasized the importance of timely evacuation for those in areas anticipating tsunamis. NHK footage depicted a building collapse in the coastal city of Suzu, with residents in Kanazawa seeking shelter under tables during the tremors. The quake's impact extended to Tokyo, where buildings experienced shaking. Over 36,000 households lost power in Ishikawa and Toyama prefectures, according to Hakuriku Electric Power. High-speed rail services to Ishikawa were suspended, and telecom operators SoftBank and KDDI reported disruptions in phone and internet services in Ishikawa and Niigata. Japanese airlines, including ANA and Japan Airlines, adjusted flight plans and canceled services to affected regions. Despite the seismic activity, Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority confirmed no irregularities at nuclear power plants along the Sea of Japan, including Kansai Electric Power's Ohi and Takahama plants in Fukui Prefecture. Hakuriku's Shika plant in Ishikawa, closest to the quake's epicenter, had already shut down its reactors for regular inspection before the quake, experiencing no impact. The incident evokes memories of the devastating March 11, 2011, earthquake and tsunami in northeastern Japan, which claimed nearly 20,000 lives, devastated towns, and resulted in nuclear meltdowns in Fukushima.